All right, guys, I'm going to teach you how to play this song in uh, two different ways. First way is like this, as it's played with um, bar chords. And then, if you click to this part here of the video, I'm going to teach you how to play this in open chords in an easier way for you to play. All right? So let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with our bar chord version. And we're going to start by barring the 6th fret, all of the strings like so, and then we're going to play an A, uh, an E minor shape above it, meaning it's just like an E minor chord, but now that our bars are all the way up here, it means that you're barring the 6th and then your E minor is being formed on the 8th fret of your D string and A string, okay, like so. So just like an E minor, but all the way up here now. This chord is called... Um, an A sharp minor or B flat minor, but we're going to call it an A sharp minor. Okay, so that's our first chord, and to play it, we're going to give it a reggae skank, and we're going to go bass with your thumb. Okay, so play the bass note, and then you're going to give a quick pluck or strum, whatever you prefer, of the highest strings. Okay, like that, like that. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm going bass chord slap chord. Okay, so that's going to be the pattern that we'll use, though. Bass, chord, slap, chord. Like so. Bass, chord, slap, chord. Okay, so that's bass with your thumb, chord, meaning the highest three strings with these three fingers, or strum if you prefer. Slap, which just means slap the dead strings, like that. And then chord again one last time. So bass, chord, slap, chord. Okay, so that's our first chord done. The second chord is going to also be on the sixth fret, so leave your bar there. And now you're going to make an A minor shape chord. Okay, so in this case, it's a D sharp minor. Okay, so bar's still on the sixth fret, but you make an A minor shape, just like you would down here, but now you're all the way up here. Okay, so that's called an, a D sharp minor. Same thing, so you're going to do bass chord, slap chord. This time your bass is now on the fifth string so when we count strings on the guitar we start from the thinnest string and count up t towards these um the thickest strings okay so when i say um on the fifth string i'm counting one two three four five okay so that's your bass note with your thumb bass chord slap chord our third chord is our g sharp so this time we're barring the fourth fret all of the strings and then your middle finger is going to go to the 5th fret of your G string on the guitar, not the G string, on your butt. Um, <laughs> so funny. So bar the 4th, 5th fret on your G string, which is your 3rd string. One, two, three. And then these two fingers are going to go onto your 6th fret of your 4th string and 5th string. G sharp. Okay, bass, chord, slap chord and then uh, we're gonna go to our the key of the song this is the key of the song C sharp so to do this chord you can do it in a couple of ways but I'm gonna suggest that you bar the fourth fret so the bar is already there from your G sharp so keep your bar there but now you're also gonna add a bar on the sixth fret and you're gonna bar the B string your second string third string fourth string okay so second third and fourth string like that I do it like that just by line my ring finger across them and then my bass is still on this um, fourth fret of my fifth string. Oh, yeah. Okay, C sharp. So bass chord, slap chord. Okay. Now for this one, after you play that C sharp. Oh, by the way, if this is too awkward for you to play the C sharp, you can also play the C sharp um, up here on the uh, where are we now? The ninth fret in the same shape as your G sharp. So if you play, so far we got A sharp minor. D sharp minor, G sharp, and then you can move your C sharp like this, okay, by playing that same shape all the way up here on the ninth fret, if you prefer. I prefer it like this. Okay, so after the C sharp, the final chord is back to our G sharp as a passing chord, okay, so just quickly before we go back to the beginning chord, the first chord, this G sharp is used as a passing chord to bring us back to the main one. So in context, it'll sound like this, A sharp minor. D sharp minor, G sharp, C sharp, A, uh, G sharp. Okay, so you play the C sharp once, A sharp once, G sharp, sorry. Keep saying the wrong chord name. Okay, so you play the C sharp once, G sharp once, and then back to the beginning. Okay, it's just like that. Four chords. Now, 
if you uh, wanted to get a little fancy, you could change the G-sharp chord to being a G-sharp with a C bass, in which case you would play it like this, these two fingers on the 4th fret, on the higher strings, and then your bass note will be the C bass, and you need to deaden the other strings with that first finger. Okay, so... Okay, so basically you just need a passing chord to go from this chord to this chord. So you can do that either as a G-sharp, or as a G-sharp with a C bass. Alright, that's the whole song. And now I'm going to teach you the easy version of the song. Now, I will say, it's open chords, so the first chord is an A minor, D minor, G, C, G, A minor. Okay, so those are our chords. A minor, D minor, G, C, G, A minor. Okay, so these are the the easy chord version. Okay, if you just want some open chords to strum along to. Now, obviously, if you do this, these open chords, you're not in the original key as the song. So you can put a caper on the first fret and play those chords that I've just shown you, and that will put you back into the same key as the 660 original version. Okay if you have a caper. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn how to play more 660, I have plenty more where that came from on my channel. So go ahead and click that circle button to subscribe to the channel, or you can click the box up here, and that'll take you to another 660 guitar tutorial. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching as always, and goodbye.